Hello students! So in this video, I will discuss to you the inverse function. What is inverse function? The inverse function of the function f, denoted by f raised to negative 1, is the set of all ordered pairs of the form yx, where x, y belongs to f. So the inverse function is denoted by this symbol, f raised to negative 1 of x, which is interpreted or read as the inverse function of f or the inverse function of f of x. So we have here four steps in solving the inverse function. First one, let y is equal to f of x. Second, interchange x and y. Third, solve for y in terms of x. And lastly, write the solution as y is equal to the inverse function of f. Okay, so first, let's start from the basic. So let's have this set of ordered pairs as our example. So we have here 1, 0, 2, 0, negative 3, and positive 5. So we will get the inverse of this function. So by the way, this set of ordered pairs are an example of a many-to-one relation. And as you can remember, many-to-one relation is an example of a function. So this is a many-to-one function. Always remember or take note that the inverse of some functions may not be a function. So let's see if the inverse of this many-to-one function is also a function. So in finding the inverse of, the, of this set of ordered pairs, we must interchange the x and the y. So our x coordinates are the first coordinates. We have 1, 2, and negative 3. And our y coordinates are the set of coordinates, which are 0 and positive 5. So we will interchange our x coordinates and our y coordinates to get the inverse. So we have our x will be like 0 and our y is 1. Next, we have our x is 0 and our y is 2. Next, we have 5 as our x and our y as negative 3. So this is the inverse of this many to one function. Now let us check if this is also a function. We have here 0 in our x repeated twice. So it means that we have one to many relation in the result of the inverse of this function. So one to many relation is not a function. So this proves that not all the inverse of a function is still a function. Some of the inverse are not a function. Now we can use our steps in finding the inverse of functions given the equation. So let's take example number 1, f of x is equal to 1 minus 2x. So this function is an example of a linear function. So we will get the inverse of this function f using these four steps. So first step, let y is equal to f of x. So f of x, we will make this as variable y. So f of x, we will write this as y, then copy 1 minus 2x. So we're done with step 1. Step 2, interchange x and y. So we will interchange the variables x and y in our second step. So y variable will become x, then equal to 1 minus 2. This x will become y. So we interchange the y and the x variable. That's why it becomes x is equal to 1 minus 2y. Third step, solve for y in terms of x. So we will solve for y in terms of x. It means we will transpose the variable y on the left side of our equation and transpose x to the right side of our equation in order for us to solve for the value of x or for the variable x. So we will transpose, so we will transpose this one. So negative 2y will become positive 2y is equal to 1, positive x transpose the right will become negative x. Now we are looking for the variable y. Therefore, we will divide both sides of the equation by 2 in order for us to cancel the numerical coefficient 2. So divide by 2. So 2 will be cancelled. The remaining variable is y is equal to 1 minus x 
but over to Last step, write the solution as y is equal to the inverse function of x. So this is a rational function. So this is a function, therefore, we'll write this one as f negative 1 x is equal to 1 minus x over 2. So the inverse function of f is equal to 1 minus x over 2. So this is our final answer. Next example, we have g of x is equal to 3 minus 2x over 5. So this is an example of a rational function plus we have our numerator and our denominator. So we will get the inverse of g of x. So first step, let y is equal to f of x. In this case, we have g of x. So we will let g of x be equal to y. And then copy 3 minus 2x over 5. So we have done the first step, second step. We will interchange the variables y and x. So y will become x and x will become y. So 3 minus 2y over 5. Now third step, solve for y in terms of x. Now we can transpose y on the left side of our equation because we have here the denominator 5. Now in order for us to remove the denominator 5, we will cross multiply the both sides of the equation, the left and the right side. So we will cross multiply this as a denominator of 1. So we have 5, five times x is equal to 5x. And we have 3 minus 2y times 1 is equal to 3 minus 2y. So the result is 5x is equal to 3 minus 2y. So we will now transpose negative 2y to the left side of the equation. So negative 2y will become positive 2y and 3, 5x will become negative 5x. In order for us to get the y, we will divide both sides by 2. So we have here, and so the numerical coefficient 2, the result is y is equal to 3 minus 5x all over 2. So next step, write the solution as y is equal to the inverse function of g. So we have here g negative 1x is equal to 3 minus 5x all over 2. Okay, so we have here the inverse of g of x is equal to 3 minus 5x all over 2. So this is our final answer. We will try to memorize the four steps in answering the examples 3 and 4. So first, we have f of x is equal to 3x minus 5. So again, this is an example of a linear function. So first step, let f of x be y. So f of x, this will become y is equal to 2x minus 5. Second step, we will interchange the variables y and x. So y will become x and x will become y. So we have here x is equal to 1 minus 5. Next step is we will solve for the value of y in terms of x. In doing that, we will transpose y to the left side of our equation. So positive 2y becomes negative 2y is equal to. Now x. Here is positive, therefore, if we transpose a to the right side of the equation, this will become negative x. So, negative x minus 5. Now, we have here negative 2y is equal to negative x minus 5. So, in order for us to solve for the value of y, we will divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. Why negative 2? For us to eliminate this negative 2 numerical coefficient, in the left side, we will cancel negative 2, negative 2. The remaining variable is y. And we have here negative x divided by negative 2. The answer is positive x. And negative divided by negative, the answer is also positive over 2. 
So this is a rational function. Last step, we will write y as f of negative 1 x or the inverse of f of x. So we have f negative 1 x is equal to x plus 5 over 2. So our final answer is the inverse of the function x is equal to x plus 5 over 2. So we have rational function. Okay, last example. We have h of x is equal to x over 4. So another example of a rational function. So first step, let h of x be y or let y be h of x. So we have y is equal to x all over 4. Next is interchange the variables x and y. So y is equal to x and x will become y. So y all over 4. Now we can transpose our one to the left side of the equation because we have our denominator 4. In order for us to remove this one, we will cross multiply again. So x times 4 is equal to 4x. And y times 1, which is the denominator of x, is equal to 1. So we have 4x is equal to y. Now we already have equated 4x to y. We can just interchange the position so that we have y on the left side of the equation. But they are just the same. So y is equal to 4x. So this is a linear function. So we will write this one as the inverse of h or the inverse of h of x is equal to 4x. So our answer is this one. Again, this is read as the inverse of h of x is equal to 4x. So that is how to solve for the inverse function.